will work on the next step. Of course, this uh, last meditation and this, both are preparing you to the next deeper level meditation. Last meditation, you worked on the fire, Agni Tattva, which is responsible for all your ulcer troubles. Please understand, mm. ulcer, anything related to stomach, anything related to nerve, <coughs> Agni Tattva is responsible. Now, we are working on the Amrita Tattva, means that coolness, energy, energy of coolness. Please do not change any instruction when you practice. Without changing instruction, any meditation you can practice in this whole. But please do not change an instruction and do not alter, do not do any masala. <laughs> Adding and deleting all those masala work with meditation. This, ah, we learnt so many, now we know I think what is meditation. <laughs> Techniques are? I have a question for you about meditation. When you're doing, you said about not mixing and matching. Um, if you do a meditation and you feel pain in your body, can you use that technique that you do know? No, no, not at that time. Finish this completely, then second, after only you will start that. Okay. No two meditation techniques at a time. Okay. Alright, now we will work on the Amrita Tattva. Means that uh, energy which is called Sitala, which makes you cool. We will work on the Amrita energy. Again, you need to sit on Vajrasana. Let me finish the instruction, then you can do. You will inhale through mouth. You will just stretch the tongue like this. Just fold the tongue, inhale through mouth and then just try to digest the air. You will feel a tremendous coolness. Then automatically you will, your body will exhale through nose. Please do not exhale through mouth. Inhale through mouth and exhale through nose. How the last meditation, in last meditation, it will heal any problem related to the stomach and the agni. This will heal anything related to gas, especially if you have gas trouble, any any problem related to gas will be completely healed by this meditation. It will completely heal it. If you try your best to avoid this masala stuff, masala uh, eating masala stuff, it will always lead to gas trouble. If at all you go to some feast and eat, at least for one or two days, do this meditation. Your stomach will be clean. Your stomach will be clean. Please understand. Inhale through mouth. Just swallow the whole air. Automatically, your body will exhale through nose. Do not exhale through mouth. And do not try to exhale. <coughs> automatically, your body will exhale. Just for a few minutes, do this, you will have a tremendous coolness inside your system. After this, you will do the meditation which connects both, which connects both, but it will, it will lead you to much more intense level. But you will not be able to do directly that unless you are, you practice this two separately. Please. If you can't sit in the Vajrasana, you can sit normal way. But try your best to sit in Vajrasana. Oh, at least inhale. Inhale through mouth. Ah, yes. You just inhale through mouth. Please tie the ribbon. Close your eyes. Start inhaling through mouth. Inhale as intensely as possible, as deeply as possible. When you feel you are full, just swallow. Try to digest the whole thing. 
automatically your body will exhale. Please do not exhale through mouth. Your body will exhale by itself. as much as possible. Try to digest the whole thing.
inhale intensely through mouth allow the body to exhale through nose 